everybody welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new my name is Kendall and I have yet another lip swatching video for you because why not what else am I gonna do tonight um, so as I previously mentioned in my last video if you watched it I did purchase the entire Shane Dawson Jeffree Star conspiracy collab, collab words collaboration this video is going to be six all six of the Shane Dawson, Jeffrey, uh, Velour liquid lip swatches. Um, and not only am I going to be trying on all six shades, I also went through my collection and grabbed shades that I thought looked similar. And I'll be swatching those on my arms at the end of the video, just so you can kind of look and compare and see what shades you think you want to grab from this collection and which shades that you don't. So without further ado, let's try to make this quick and hop right into it.
so those are all six shades that come in the collection uh right off the bat i these three are my absolute favorites are we filming which is just like a perfect classic red shane this shade is so unique i have nothing like it and i didn't pull any comparison swatches to show with this because I don't have anything like it. It's so different, but at the same time, I don't think it's too wild that like you would feel weird wearing it out and about, you know, like I feel like it's, it's like a very wearable shade. And then Jeffrey, what the, um, is what I'm just going to leave on right now. I absolutely love this shade. It's like bright and fun, but at the same time, I don't think it's like crazy looking. It's like a really good Barbie pink, but it's not like, like a, like it's not like neon by any means. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to run through um, just some swatches that I grabbed, some swatches. I'm gonna run through some lipsticks that I grabbed um, that are similar, or what I think are similar, um, and I'm gonna swatch them on my arm just so you can see like, if you have something like this, then maybe you don't need to pick up this shade. So first I'm gonna go in with the shade Ryland will make a beautiful eyeshadow color because these are all eye safe. So I'll definitely probably be using this either as like a lip topper or as an eyeshadow. Here is the shade Ryland swatched. The only color that I think I have that's kind of similar to this is Christmas Cookie, which yeah, it's not it's not similar at all. <laughs> okay, so here is um Ryland right here and then Christmas cookie. So as you can see, I'm very off in my um, color selection. Those look nothing alike. Um, so I do think that shade is very unique. So next up was the shade, oh my God. And honestly, to be honest, I hate everything about this shade. I don't like the color on me, maybe on someone else. It's so pretty, but it's like a Pepno, Pepno Bismol pink. Um, and it was extremely like it showed every crack in every line not a fan at all i don't like this shade i don't like this shade um so there it is swatched and then it reminds me a lot of the mystery shade that came in um one of the mystery boxes and see it's definitely darker so this is oh my god and then this is the mystery shade and then another color it kind of reminded me of in the tube was Doll Parts, which I know it's not going to be similar because I absolutely love the color Doll Parts. Yeah, so those aren't similar at all. So here's Doll Parts, oh my god, and then the mystery shade. Um, yeah, this is just, this is way too milky and pink and it, I can't, um, I think maybe, I mean, if you like it and you feel like you look good in it, then by all means, you wear it because I'm sure it looks wonderful on other people. Just on me, it's a big no. But that's the only one that I'm like not loving. So five out of six ain't bad. Up is the shade Gotta Go, I Gotta Go. And it was a like a bronzy golden shade. So here's what it looks like swatched on my arm, I Gotta Go. And then I thought they were very similar to uh, Thirst Trap and bronze blood. So here they all are together. I'll swatch thirst trap next to that. So thirst trap definitely does like the same effect. It's definitely like a bronze, but this one's obviously more brown. And then we have bronze blood. Hmm. So bronze blood and I gotta go, I don't see any difference at all. I mean, maybe I gotta go is just like the tiniest bit darker, but that's, that's the same color to me. Like, let's remove this. That, I feel like they literally just took the same color and just put it in different packaging. Like I said, one might be just like a hair darker than the other, but that's, 
very similar. I still like it, but I feel like if you have bronze blood, you don't need. Hey friends, so I just wanted to throw in a picture of the two shades of bronze blood and I wanna go. As you can see, I gotta go is way darker than bronze blood. So I just wanted to show you guys what it looked like under uh, lighting than just in the video. So you can make that decision for yourself on whether or not you think they're similar enough or different enough to snag both of them. Okay, thanks, bye. So let's do, are we filming next? And that was the red shade. I'm going to be putting it with, I actually had a few that I thought might be similar. I'm putting it next to Anna Nicole and Red Drum. So they're actually very different. So this one is Are We Filming and this one is Red Drum. So Are We Filming is more of an orangey red. So I'm actually going to swatch Anna Nicole next to it. It's pretty similar to Anna Nicole. It's like if Red Drum and Are We Filming had a baby, it would be... Anna Nicole. And I don't know why these swatches are so big. I just, I don't, I don't know what happened. I lost control. All right, so that pretty much stained my arm. So <laughs> for the last shade I'm going to be doing is Jeffrey What the Bleep. And I'm putting that with Watermelon Soda, Strawberry Crush, and Romeo. So here's all of them together. Okay, so here's the colors right there. I'm actually gonna grab one more. Okay, so here is Jeffrey What the Bleep, and then we had Watermelon Soda, Strawberry Crush, and Romeo, and then I actually also grabbed Yes Ma'am from the Jawbreaker collection, and I'm gonna swatch that as well. The ones are the most like it. So this is Yes Ma'am, and then Jeffrey What the Bleep. Yes Ma'am is definitely more neon, and then the Jeffree shade is a little more muted. Okay, so those are all the shades and those are all the swatch comparisons that I have. If you wanna see other uh, swatch comparisons, uh, if you can think of any other shade in his collection that kind of reminds you of one of Shane's shades, uh, let me know and if I have it, I'll do a swatch because um, I know it's frustrating when brands put out different colors and you get it and you're like, <laughs> So yeah, that is it overall. Um, like I said, just the one shade I had an issue with. The one is very similar. Um, these two are very similar, but I love the shade, so it's not really a huge deal. I think the Shane color would look good on everybody. Um, so if you're gonna get one from the collection, I would definitely snag that one. Um, so that is it. That is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.